Yo, what's going on dudes? Hopefully everyone is doing okay. Welcome back to the channel. So today we're riding this beauty, the Moto Marini X-Cape 650. Today's video was made possible because of Cooper Motorcycles. They have a great selection of new and used bikes as well as all styles of riding gear to help keep you warm and safe throughout the year. Whatever it is you're looking for, Cooper Motorcycles can help you out. They also do nationwide delivery on all of their stock, including their motorbikes. They also have professional mechanics on site to help keep your bike in top riding condition. If you're looking for that new ride for the summer, pop in and see them. If you're not able to visit them direct, you can give them a call about any of their bikes and they'll have it delivered direct to your door. I'll leave all their details and social media information in the description below. So this is the Moto Marini X-Cape 650. It's a middleweight adventure bike. We're just going to take it for a wee ride first and then see how it feels and then we'll go over the dash, go over some of the, the specs and things. It's very, very comfortable. The handlebars are a lot higher than what I'm used to. You know, I'm used to not necessarily kind of sports kind of bikes, but upright bikes like my SV, even though you're upright, you're still lent over a wee bit. But this is proper upright, really, really upright. You can also get a full luggage pack for this. You can get three luggage compartments that can go in the back. You can also get an aftermarket screen so you can get a, a bigger touring screen I mean this one feels absolutely fine I'm not getting any problems from the wind the handlebars look very very similar to my rental bars oh my god the brakes are good oh I wasn't expecting that <laughs> don't know well you can hear that but it's got a nice purr off it you know it's nothing aggressive because it's not an aggressive bike it's not meant to be ridden that way it's an adventure bike you know this is a 650 so it's not going to have you know tons and tons of power but it's not meant to you know it's not meant for doing crazy speeds you know overtaking everything on the road you know it's an adventure bike i'm sure there's more than enough overtaking speed i've not had a chance to do that yet but when it comes around to it i'm sure it will be absolutely fine and first impression so far is it's a nice little bike to ride it is very very comfortable the seat is actually really soft you could sit in this thing for hours and hours on end, I'm sure of it. One thing I've noticed straight away is I don't know if the GoPro can pick it up or not, but these mirrors are honestly, they're probably the best mirrors I've seen on a bike so far. These things are ridiculous. You know, I can almost see the opposite side of the road out of them. Well, from this one anyway. So it's got a digital dash. I think it's like seven point something inches. You know, it's more than enough for you to see anything you need to look at. Gear indicator, rev counter, fuel, all that sort of stuff. And it's not, you know, in your face. You know, you get a lot of bikes, there's just so much going on. Yeah, I mean, that's not an issue with this bike. It's got everything you need. It, I've not messed about too much with the settings yet, so I can't give you a complete rundown, but when we stop, we will uh, have a wee go at them and see what the settings are like. My God, this thing's easy to turn. Oh my God. This is the first adventure bike I've ridden. Probably the biggest thing for me getting used to it at the moment is just the height of the thing. I've got quite short legs, <laughs> you know, and uh, I mean, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. I'm just not used to the height of an adventure bike. It comes with Bluetooth as well. You can probably see that on the dash, you know, music and phone. And the dash is nice and simple, isn't it? It's nice and simple. It's not hard to find whatever it is you're looking for. But I mean, first impressions are, very good, it's a nice bike to ride, very comfortable, nice and quiet, so it's a 650cc. They are coming out with bigger models later on in the year, and they've also got some newer style models that are coming out, new like street kind of model, rather than having the, 
adventure kind of style. But this bike anyway, it's starting round about the kind of seven grand mark, seven, like I think the base entry model is like 7,200, there or thereabouts. There are lots of optional extras if you decide that you want luggage or you want the adapted seat so it's a little bit higher. I just love how comfortable it is. And that's the one thing that's constantly in the back of my mind just now. You know, I'm just thinking about things in the bike. How does it feel? How does it handle? You know, how are the brakes? All this sort of stuff. But the one thing my brain keeps coming back to is just how comfortable it is. It is super comfy. So the wind protection, we're doing just under 60. I'm not feeling any kind of pressure from the wind. It's not pushing my head about. It's not hard to move my head about or anything, you know. It's absolutely fine. I can feel it here a little bit more than anything because it's quite a narrow screen isn't it? It's kind of coming, the wind's kind of coming round so it's kind of hitting me here but it's not, again, it's not, you know, affecting me any. If anything, it's a benefit because it's a hot day today so I'm getting that extra cool air kind of just going down the top of my jacket. I feel really high up as well. It's quite an odd feeling. If you drive a car and then all of a sudden you drive a van, you suddenly go, oh my god, I'm so much higher. You know, you get used to it after a few minutes, but that's what it feels like with this bike. I'm used to being a lot lower, and then all of a sudden I'm like really high and I can see over all the cars and stuff. It's great. <laughs> so there we are, so that is the Moto Marini X Cape 650. I think it's a really nice looking bike. I actually like this colour. You know, you can get it in red, you can get it in white, and I think they've got a, they've got a limited edition coming out. But I think the grey looks really cool. I really do like the grey. So we'll go over some of the specs. I'll put all the specs up on screen just in case there's anything that I miss. So if there's anything you want to know, it should be up on screen while we're going over this. Don't forget dudes, Cooper Motorcycles, they've got them in at the moment. If you want to go and have a wee look at one, book a wee test ride, give them a wee call and they will sort you out. You know, it's very comfortable. You know, if you're used to riding these kind of bikes, you know, this is going to be something you're used to anyway. Like I said, this is the first adventure bike I've been on, so this is all new territory to me. But the seat is very comfortable, it's very nice and soft, it's not firm. There's plenty of room for your pillion if you're going to go two up. There's also a three box luggage you can get for it, so if you want to go doing a bit of touring, stick the luggage on. So it's a 650cc, it's a middleweight adventure bike with a wet weight of roughly 232 kilos which you know it's not the heaviest bike in the road but it's not the lightest either but again it's a big adventure bike you've got to expect it to have a wee bit of weight about it so for the standard seat height it is about 33 and a half inches or 845 millimeters tall so power output is about kind of 60 horsepower i think it's like 59 or something but they are planning on releasing the bigger models so they're probably going to be kind of around about the liter engine size mark i guess fully adjustable front fork so you can fully adjust them if that's something you need to do and it's got twin 298 millimeter discs on the front with your uh, Brembo calipers as well and the brakes are really good we'll talk about them a bit more when we go back out on it but the brakes are really good they're a lot sharper than what I thought they were going to be in the back brake you've got your two piston caliper and it's a 255 mil single disc brake for the back so some of the added extras you can get just now the actual seat height is 820 mils that's for the, the lower seats. You can also get the luggage that we spoke about. You can get the turn hand guards. You can get the turn screen. You can get the engine bars for it. And you can also get an alloy sump guard for it. So this is the dash. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, you've got everything that you need on it. You've got your RPM, your speedo, temperature, fuel, gear indicator, time, trip home, or all that sort of stuff in the settings. So we're going to have a quick look at the settings and see what this bike's got on it. So you've got your three different options settings music and telephone obviously you're going to have to hook your phone up via bluetooth but if we go into the settings we'll see what we've got so we've got bike info connect display and system so we'll go into the bike info first it gives you like the tire pressures the battery voltage all that sort of stuff how many miles for services and whatnot so that's kind of cool if you want to check that uh, next we've got our connect button so obviously for connecting up your phone so you go into it, it's obviously going to give us the model of the bike, I'm guessing, there we go, Xscape. So you'd put on your Bluetooth and you would pair it with Xscape. We've then got display, what have we got? We've got view, auto day night. Let's see what night looks like because we're on day at the moment. Well, we're on auto actually, but it's putting us on day mode by the looks of it. That's quite cool actually. You're probably better just leaving it on auto and just letting the bike choose for you. It's nice and simple, as you can see, you've got up, down, back, set, it's nothing... You know, it's nothing crazy, there's no uh, accidental pushing of buttons and things, you know. 
And then we've got background. I think this is kind of cool. Maybe not everybody might think it's cool, but you can actually change the background of, you know, the dash. I don't know how well this is getting picked up, but you can have the road, you can have it pure. So you can have it dirt, so it's kind of like, I don't know how well this is getting picked up. If you can just see that, it's like the road's all the road's all cracked and stuff. This is obviously just the background display. You know, there's like a road on it, and you can choose what you want the road to look like, which is kind of cool. It's got a kind of Tesla vibe, that, isn't it? <laughs> and that's it. That's all there is to it. It's very, very simple. Obviously, my phone's not connected, but if it was connected, you could go in and set music. You could go in and make a phone call if you need to and that's it that's all there is to the dash nice and simple if you're looking to get an adventure bike i would definitely have a look at the x cape coming in at that middleweight class for the money you're paying for it you know you're getting a lot of bike for your money but if you're looking into possibly getting an adventure bike or you're just looking to buy something a bit different you know and you quite like the kind of adventure style you know you're planning on doing a lot of tour up and down the country my god dude i mean this, this would be a good buy for someone. I'm going to go and take this on the motorway because obviously if you're buying this bike to tour up and down the country there's a pretty good chance you're going to be spending some time on motorways. So we'll go on the motorway, see what it's like and we'll do a bit of town ride and some slow stuff. The big wide handlebars really suit a bike like this, you know. They're almost as wide as the mirrors to be honest. <laughs> They're really wide. And the mirrors are absolutely brilliant they're so good doesn't mean you shouldn't be doing your lifesavers though this thing feels absolutely fine on the waterway it really does i mean i am not uncomfortable by any means you know i'd be quite happy to sit here for you know hours and hours on end obviously that's going to get boring for the rider but there's one thing for sure you're not going to be uncomfortable oh, what a beautiful day to be out on a bike as well Oh my god, it's not too hot today. You know, we've been having that silly heat wave over the last couple of weeks and the last few days has been absolutely roasting. But today is very nice, you know, it's just right, you know. We'll go down to the lock. I've not taken you guys down there yet. I've been down to the lock many, many, many times before. It'll be a good chance to just kind of get a wee U-turn in with, the, with this bike, see what the turning circle is like on it and I'm guessing it's going to be busy today because the sun's out. Now there's a massive, well when I say a massive, but there's a bigger car park down the bottom. I'm hoping we're going to have enough room to get a wee U-turn in. <laughs> this guy's like to hell with it, you know where I'm parking. <laughs> you can tell it's the summer holidays in Scotland. You know, the good weather comes out and then everybody is just like, yeah boy, taps off as we call it in Scotland. There's actually quite a few people out with models today. I don't know if it's a flying club or something, but uh, there's definitely lots of people about with models and stuff. This is normally empty and you've normally got quite a good uh, area for turning, but uh, not so much today, but we'll give it a go anyway. Not bad, not bad. You can turn no problem. You know, like I said earlier on, it's it's my first adventure style bike that I've been on. Um, so everything's completely new to me. There is no sore bum, there is no sore shoulders, there is nothing like that whatsoever. You know, normally when I review bikes, you know, I like to, uh, you know, kind of find if there's anything that I don't like about bikes. There's not really a whole lot to say about this bike that I don't like. Obviously the height, but that's personal preference you know that's not got anything to do with the bike i'm just not used to you know riding big tall bikes probably the only thing that i'm not super keen on is the side stand i don't know what it is i just kind of i'm kind of fiddling about trying to find it a wee bit you know you can lift up the peg obviously and then push it down but it only goes so far you know and i found it a little bit awkward to get it down so it's time for her to go home We've had a good wee shot on her today and it's a lot of fun, it's a nice wee bike to ride. So if you're interested in this bike at all, even if you just want to have a wee look about it, have a wee sit on it, get some more information on it, give Cooper Motorcycles a call. Well hopefully you guys have enjoyed this review. You know I'm still getting used to reviewing bikes, you know I'm not an experienced reviewer by 
any means. So all my reviews at the moment are kind of first rides. You know, just going out in the bike for the first time just for a couple of hours. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. Hopefully you've seen a bit of the bike. And if there's anything you're unsure of, and you, know, you can ask me in the comments. Or of course, if you're looking for any information on the bike, the best thing you do is get in touch with Cooper Motorcycles. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. I know I've enjoyed making this video. It's been a lot of fun. But hopefully you have, guys. If you have, give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate every single one of your likes. And of course, if you want to see all my uploads, click on that subscribe button. And ring the bell while you're there. You get notified every time I upload a video. But until next time, dudes, stay safe, ride safe. Take it easy.